What you did was unconscionable. Larry, not here. Well, uh, you should be ashamed. You bring this woman in? Yeah. Hey, Martin, can I come in? Yeah. Hey. Yeah? Did you hear about Sunday? No, what about Sunday? Dr. Seif is having a get-together at her house for faculty and department grad students. No, I didn't hear about that, but um, thanks for the heads up. Do you think you'll go? Yeah, I do. I hate going to these things alone. Would it be okay if we went together? Sure. Thank you. So what's with the, uh, no phone, no email, kind of, but not really off the grid, not sense? Keeps it all very simple. I guess I should congratulate you on your appointment. Chief of Staff to the President of the United States. How does it feel? It feels right. Well, I'm glad it all worked out for you. We're concerned about you, Libby. We've reached out several times. Reaching out in regards to the President's intent to run for re-election. And the silence is deafening. We need to make sure you're still part of our team. Are you living still part of our team? You flew all this way to hear me answer that question. I flew all this way to see you answer that question. I serve faithfully. I did everything I was asked to do, everything. Back then. You don't... Does it ever give you... No. A decision was made, an order was given. Period. Easy as that. Just the one thing. What happened to you and me that did hurt? But, Libby, the understanding was you'd resign and we'd all say nice things about one another. Presidential medals of freedom and all that. We're not asking you to be the centerpiece of the campaign. We're just looking for a unified front. You may have detractors, but your overall favorable rating within the party, 70%. So when I do reach out and I hear nothing, I take that as a fuck you. And being the trusting guy that I am, I begin to think that maybe Libby's having second thoughts. Maybe Libby's thinking of airing the family's dirty laundry. I cannot overemphasize what a colossally dangerous idea that would be. Stop following me. I know you have people watching. I can assure you it's not coming from my office. How about your old buddies at Langley? Is that what's happening, Libby? Are you suspicious of everyone now? Like I said, tell your people to leave me alone. You're a very attractive woman, Libby. Sometimes the answer to a problem is a very simple explanation. The obvious one. I'm here in good faith because of your service to the president and the country. Because Rachel still considers you a friend. We wouldn't be speaking here and now if it was otherwise. So I've been warned. Counseled. This memoir you threatened to write has Rachel worried. You're the with us or against us. It's as simple as that. Let's talk again. Soon, okay? One no. Mingle. You first. Yeah, I'll join you. If uh <clears throat> if Ben's okay. 
Jordan, I know I can be a first class jerk. I don't want a single next semester. You're a great roommate, and I think I can be a good one too, if that works for you. Does that mean I can join you for that beer? We're bonding. Then they remove the damaged cartilage and bone from the... Now, here's my new word of the day, acetabulum. There's our new celebrity in residence, Elizabeth. So glad you made it. Let me make some introductions. I apologize for sounding like my parents, but kids these days, no matter how incoherent, no matter how many typos, they still expect an A. I'm talking about but basic grammar, middle school stuff. I don't know how the hell they expect an A when they can't even put a sentence together. For that matter, how the hell did they get into this university? I'm asking you. Washington in the summer? You can have it. The humidity, the mosquitoes, you. Oh, well, you get used to it. Enjoy, Michelle. Ah, the glamorous Elizabeth Lamb. The architect of total victory and the Burke Doctrine. Kill one of ours, we kill a thousand of yours. Isn't that the gist of it? Something like that, yeah. Have you met her? Not yet. Introduce yourself. When the time's right. So how long are you here for? The semester. Mm. We'll see how it goes after that. Are you staying near campus, or? in the city with the action. <laughs> Near campus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How about you? You doing the uh, old meeting greet? Oh, uh, yeah, a couple of, hi, I'm Jordan Ritt. That's Ritt with two Ts. So thrilled to be taking your class. Excellent conversation, if I do say so myself. Congratulations on that. Yes, it is a fine art. Big homes in that area, though. It's a lot of house for one person. I like it. I like the space. Really? You don't find it too quiet, too lonely? Uh, no. Hmm. Did you buy? Rent. Furnished? Almost. So what are you, uh, what are you sleeping on? Are they, do they leave you a bed? Elizabeth, how often do you encounter protests these days? I mean, was uh, Tuesday an anomaly, or is it typical? Now, I promised Elizabeth there would be no grilling. No inquisition, not tonight. Willa, I'm just asking Elizabeth if every time she walks out into the world, she has to deal with those haters. It's okay, Willa, really. I see it on campuses still. That's about it. I resigned my post four years ago. After that, I was a figure of controversy. Protests were common, people were upset. But as time went by, it receded and it was replaced by new controversies. Toynbee was right. History is just one damn thing after another. But some things are more damnable than, than others, aren't they? Hmm? What you did was unconscionable. Larry, not here. Willa, you should be ashamed. You bring this woman in? All you guys, do you realize what we're legitimizing here? Larry, please. We are all aware that liquor brings out your unfulfilled pension for theatrics. What the fuck does that even mean? It means you're stupid drunk. The only way I can stand to be around her. How many? Come on. You know the number. How many people? based on the information that was available at the time. How many? There's always the unknown. The unknown. Say it! Larry, drop this, now. <laughs>